Hi, my name is Jake Weber, and for this video I'll be talking about our EFE, or External Factor Evaluation, for Big Lorry Holdings. An EFE is a strategy tool used to examine a company's external environment and to identify the available opportunities and threats. In order to perform the EFE, members of our team were responsible for pulling factors we had identified during our steeple macro-environmental and porter industry analyses. We then compiled these factors into our EFE card on Trello. After compiling these factors, we identified them as either opportunities or threats, and then a weight and rating was assigned to each one. Using the rate and weighting, we were able to easily come up with a weighted average in order to help us decide what factors are the most or least important. One factor we identified from the steeple analysis was the political legal threat Big Lari faces of lawsuits. We gave this threat a weight of 0.13 and a rating of 3 for a weighted average of 0.39. Because of Big Lorry's aggressive pricing model in place for stake and shakes, some franchisees have been left unprofitable and have actually sued Big Lorry. The number of restaurants that have sued so far is at 9, and depending on the result of the cases, the aggressive pricing strategy that has been kept in place by the CEO of Big Lorry may or may not be legally allowed to stick around. A second factor we identified from our steeple analysis was the innovation rate of technology. We assign this threat a weight of 0.13 and a rating of 4 for a weighted average of 0.52. This is an opportunity and something that we decided is essential for a restaurant to keep up in the QSR business. Because there is a fine line between implementing technology to, implementing technology to please customers while simultaneously not making workers upset, Big Lari has an opportunity right now to capitalize on the constant innovations taking place in technology in order to create a strategy to slowly implement new technology at a rate that keeps both its customers and employees pleased. Another factor we pulled was the economic threat of taxes. We assigned this threat a weight of 0.10 and a rating of 3 for a weighted average of 0.30. Even though this is not a factor that is placing immediate pressure on Big Lari, fat taxes being put in place in foreign markets could also take place in the U.S. as current policies and efforts to curb obesity are failing. If a fat tax were to be implemented in the U.S., prices would have to rise and thus less customers would be willing to go out to eat at fast food restaurants. This would inevitably hurt Steak and Shake, which already has a large number of restaurants struggling to stay above water. A fourth factor we took from our steeple analysis was the environmental threat of waste production. We decided to give this threat a weight of 0.07 and a rating of 2 for a rate weighted average of 0.14. In the United States, the QSR industry is responsible for a massive amount of trash. Although this is another example of something that does not instantly place pressure on Steak and Shake, there is a very real threat of government policy affecting Steak and Shake because of this going forward. This threat is ever-growing as well because of the fact that the green movement in the U.S. has quickly been gaining momentum over the last few years. We also managed to find a small variety of opportunities within our steeple analysis. Within the U.S. and throughout the world, businesses everywhere have growing opportunities as the average income of people continues to rise. We gave this opportunity a weight of 0.11 and a rating of 2 for a weighted average of 0.22. As individuals make decisions to spend money heavily based off how much money they make, a higher income can do nothing but help Steak and Shake. Especially with some of the Steak and Shakes having issues with customer traffic, if more individuals could afford to eat out, it is possible that this could be a key change for Steak and Shakes going forward. Another opportunity that we found was a sociocultural factor that covers the psychographics of Steak and Shakes customers. With slowing traffic and an average customer age of 44, Steak and Shake must adapt in order to attract younger customers. We give this opportunity a 0.11 weight and a rating of 2 for a weighted average of 0.22. 5% of millennials go out to eat once a week, but like the younger Gen Z, expect a digital footprint in their dining experience. The reason this is important for Steak and Shake is that as they continue to digitize along with the rest of the QSR industry, they may become more appealing to a younger demographic. This would be huge for a lot of Steak and Shake franchises, especially ones that are suffering as a direct result of low restaurant traffic. Moving over to the Porter analysis side of things, we identified the threat to be the rivals and their current actions compared to Steak and Shake. 
We gave this threat a weight of 0.14 and a rating of 4 for a weighted average of 0.56. With other QSRs making changes to their menus, such as introducing alternatives for allergies, making new lines of meals for kids, and making vocal efforts to eliminate or reduce waste, Steak and Shake must constantly be taking all of these things into account in order to stay competitive with its market share. And since Steak and Shake is currently struggling with younger demographics and customer traffic in general, this is a threat that we believe should be treated with high priority. Another th threat that we found through the Porter analysis was the inherent threat of substitutes that any QSR, especially one specializing in burger-related products, face faces. We decided that this threat deserved a weight of 0.11 and a rating of 4 for a weighted average of 0.44. Because of the fact that there are so many substitutes for customers to choose from when it comes to fast food, this means that a lot of power is in the customer's hands and not the quick service restaurants. While some measures can be taken to make a restaurant like Steak and Shake differentiate itself from other restaurants, it will be a constant challenge that Steak and Shake will have to deal with for the lifetime of its existence. Plenty of QSRs and regular restaurants alike serve items similar to those on Steak and Shake's menu. The last threat we found through our Porter analysis, as well as the last factor of our EFE, was the threat of buyers. We assigned this threat a weight of 0.10 and a rating of 3 for a weighted average of 0.30. The threat of buyers is particularly high in the QSR industry and a stake and shake. For one, buyers of fast food face no switching, switching costs, and they have no obligation to go to one restaurant over another. It should also be noted that the health food movement has taken endless jabs at the QSR industry in an attempt to take customers from restaurants such as Steak and Shake. This means that franchisees need to constantly do their best to keep PR issues out of their restaurants, and Big Lari needs to ensure that Steak and Shake's menu stays up to date with customer trends and tastes.